One of the reasons why I started doing this entire venture was because I've got so many people reaching out to me, asking me, hey, I, I wanna find a house, I wanna fix a house, I wanna flip a house, what do I do, where do I start? And that's a really loaded question. Uh, it definitely all starts with a bunch of stuff all at one time. You need to make sure you got your money right. You need to make sure that you financiers in line. You need to make sure you've got your crews in line. You need to make sure you've got a good plan. Maybe more important than all of those things, but all of those things are extremely important. You've got to find the property. The property is extremely expensive. It makes or breaks the deal. You don't make money in real estate when you sell. You make money in real estate when you buy. So with all the competition, here in the Metroplex, the hardest thing to do is find the property. So what do you do? Well, I know a lot of people who knock doors. I know a lot of people who send out flyers. I know people who deal with wholesalers. I know people who are wholesalers. Finding the property, super, super important. Finding it at the right price is even more important. Finding it in the right location, extremely important as well. Those are all hard things to do. Uh, best thing you can do is get out and start knocking doors. You get in a neighborhood, you find a property that looks distressed, looks abandoned, looks neglected. Get up there, knock on that door, send them a letter. Hey, I want to buy your house. Let's make a deal. Getting on MLS to find where properties are is a good starting point because that gets you into neighborhoods where, hey, you can get in there. There's a couple for sale. Start knocking doors on others especially in neighborhoods where things are on the rise. Things have been neglected, dilapidated, haven't been taken care of, but now investors are in there fixing and renewing and restoring so that everything uh, is increasing in value. That's a good thing. If you find a house on MLS, you're not gonna make any money trying to flip it. Plain and simple. Uh, that's just the way it is. Once it's on MLS and it's got a realtor trying to market it, you're out of luck. You're most definitely not gonna make the margins that you need to make. It's gonna take a lot of grit, a lot of sweat, a lot of time, and a lot of just plain hard fucking work. It's not gonna be easy. Everyone's trying to flip. Everyone's trying to find it, fix it for as little as possible, sell it for as much as possible. So if you think that you're gonna go out and knock on 10 doors and find a deal and make 100 grand, just fold your tent right now. This is not a business for the weak-minded. It's definitely not a business for flakes. It's most definitely not a business for lazy. But if you've got work ethic and you've got perseverance and grit and you never say quit, this is for sure the business for you. From there, once you've identified the property, as long as you've got your money in order, the ball's rolling and it's off to the races. Um, but getting started is the hardest thing to do because a lot of people don't know where to start. So um, on our first podcast with one of my hard money lenders, Doug Phillips with DFW Investment Lending, he says that in his opinion, the best way to start in this business is to hone your craft as a wholesaler. Part of this is finding deals. Hone your craft doing that. Get something under contract, then wholesale it to someone else. You'll make a few thousand dollars, put it in the bank, go do it again, go do it again, go do it again. Pretty soon you're gonna have enough cash to do your own deal. Go find some properties, wholesale them, make a little money, start stacking your cash so that you're ready to roll.